Romesh Ranganathan, uh, who calls himself a comedian, who's been sort of uh, joined up with Sadiq Khan uh, to campaign with TFL, Transport for London, against sexual violence. Let's have a look at this. I think men need to call out other men for shit. Does anybody agree with me on that? I, I, I just think... I just think men don't call out another, other men for it shit enough, do you know what I mean? But I'm talking about... You call your mates out for stuff that's, like, trivial, do you know what I mean? Like, and all it needs is, like, a mate. That's all it needs. I think you should weaponise that and use it on people. I also think sometimes we are guilty of not calling our mates out when they do awful shit, like, you know... I think we've got ourselves into a situation where somebody might be talking to a woman and they say something inappropriate and we don't call it out enough. So, for example, you know, just going, mate, saying that is rank. Or, mate, she doesn't want to yeah, talk... Yeah, mate, um, apologies if any of you were offended by some of the language there, but, you know, the message clearly is that, uh, you know, we're all horrible people and, you know, we need to call each other out for things that we do which are horrible. Um, not, the not the greatest message of all time, is it? Well, I wouldn't have thought so, no. I really mm. wouldn't. I mean, he's a good comedian, but... Is he? This is not, this is not a very funny subject. I mean, I, I don't know when comedy suddenly became campaigning, but, um, you know, it's not... I don't think it's particularly clever to make out that uh, that people like him know better than everybody else how we should all be behaving. And it's not. It's probably not the most important thing in everybody's life. I mean, I go in the underground now and I'm bombarded with messages about uh, how you're not supposed to be touching people, how you're not supposed to be staring at people. You know, all pretty obvious things that I don't think we need telling, do we? Well, um, I, I admire views, but I hadn't seen it before just now, but I mean, for goodness sake. I mean, he needs to get, he really needs to sort policing out in London in general. Yeah. Um, this probably is just another one of his gimmicks. He yeah, I mean, we saw another one of those robberies the other day, which probably happens a lot more than we know. It happened to be Alan Jones, so we knew that it happened because he's a celebrity. But, you know, some guy approaches you with a machete and demands your, 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 uh, your watch. You're probably going to give it to him. Yes, that's right. Actually, Sarah Vine's written a really good article in the paper as well about when her son was uh, mugged in this way. I think it happens far more than we are aware of. Yeah. We need to sort the streets out. These these so-called villains are, are just roaming around causing absolute havoc and making most of us feel very unsafe. Yes. Um, and, and I mean, there's no question, is there, that the streets now are very much more kind of menacing than they ever were. And I've said this before, but it kind of reminds me of how New York became in the 80s. It was kind of lawless. Under David Dinkins, he was a mayor, he was a Democrat mayor, and he just didn't know really how to solve the problem. And then Rudolph Giuliani came in and solved it literally at a stroke because he just knew how to clamp down on, on the crime. Yeah, broken windows, the um, theory and all the rest of right. it. He really did. He cleaned up New York, and that's, I'm afraid, the state we're getting into in London. And I want to come in and clean it up. Mm. You start by listening to what Londoners want. And I assure you, going back to the ULEZ, Londoners do not want the extended ULEZ. And he will not listen. No, he just won't. I mean, there's a real problem with, with, with these kinds of uh, people. Also, you and I have mentioned this many times before. One of the things that I find extraordinary is that he's moved willy-nilly the London Assembly out to Stratford which is not where it's meant to be. It's meant to be in the, Lon in the London Assembly building, which was built specifically for the London Assembly. I mean, would you move back there? Uh, it would depend on finances, of course. I mean, we don't own the building, mm. so one would have to discuss it with the owners. But, I mean, since we've moved out there, people don't come out and see us. We used to see Londoners all the time in our offices. We don't have specific offices, the Assembly members. But it's the journey out there. Nobody wants to make the journey. He apparently doesn't like the old city hall building. I mean, it's iconic, but I mean, typical of Khan, he pulls down our statues, he renames our roads, he doesn't love London. I love London, and I actually like the old building. It was built for us, and that's where we yeah. should be. Well, also, you can't, it's not a great advert for the city, is it, to have a sort of building sitting empty? completely covered in almost dust and, and grime because they can't afford to clean it, which is one of the reasons they say they moved. But surely something has to happen to it. It either has to be recommissioned as an office building or it has to be used, turned into a hotel. Some, you know, it can't just sit there empty, can it? It's very sad. Um, obviously, uh, it's a, a conversation to be had with the owners. Um, but 
a lot depends on finance because we've got to sort the finances out as well. Despite the fact that he's got a £21 billion budget, mm. um, we, we've got a police service that needs more money. I've found £200 million pounds that I would put in uh, to bolster up neighbourhood type policing. Um, you know, when you look at things, you, there's so much that needs to be done. And that's just something that would need to be looked at. Yes. And as far as the um, uh, the situation with ULES is concerned, I mean, £224 million, I think, was collected um, from ULES in 2022, the current uh, ULES. I mean, obviously, TfL must be heavily reliant on that kind of money. But would you ever consider just doing away with it altogether, everywhere? Um, people that live in the the original ULES seem to like it. And it, and it did clean up the air there. Um, but it was never intended to go right the way across London. And we see what Angela Rayner said um, yesterday. It looks like Labour would put it in everywhere. So yeah. beware, everybody, of what you think. The other aspect to this, of course, is that Sadiq Khan is looking at pay per mile in London. Yeah. Uh, you know, if people keep voting for these Labour um, mayors or MPs, this is what they're going to get going forward. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Well, we wish you luck, Susan. Um, are there any debates in the offing that you might be taking part in, or is it too soon to say? I'm very happy to debate with anybody, as you well know, Mike. <laughs> Absolutely right. Well, we'll see if we can organise one. Uh, I don't think Sadiq Khan's talking to us at the moment. Uh, we do keep asking him to come on the show, but, of course, uh, he doesn't even answer our calls anymore. But there we are. Susan Hall, uh, ca candidate uh, for the London Mayor's Office. Let's hope uh, that she can manage to dislodge Sadiq Khan, who's done so much harm uh, to this city and who never, ever appears on my show, despite the number of times we've asked him. Uh, he just doesn't want to do it. I wonder why that is. He's quite keen to go on another show, but not this one.